good morning. I'm on my 1959 BSA. I'm just about to go over the Great Ooze on the God Manchester Huntingdon Bridge to visit something that I'm almost ashamed to say that I've not visited before, which is the crash site and memorial stone for an RAF Sterling bomber that crashed uh, on a return flight from Essen in April 1942. Burning and blasting 450 acres out of the heart of the Krupp's Arms Works at Essen. Curtain raiser to the biggest one target raid of the war. These amazing official pictures show the whole target area a mass of flames into which are falling more than 150 4,000 pounders. The two ton blockbusters. Raid number one, terrific in intensity, yet eclipsed a few days later when a thousand more tons of bombs were dropped in the very centre of the largest gun defended area in all Europe. The lights of Essen. Sir Archibald Sinclair revealed it to be probably the heaviest blow struck at German war industry in all the bomber offensive. Uh, and it was returning to RAF Alcumbre with severe anti aircraft damage that the Germans had uh, inflicted on this airframe. It would come through to God Manchester. And the sad story is that um, on approaching RAF Alcum Alcumbre with its wheels down, there was an unauthorised aircraft parked on the runway, so it had to go round again. And on the second approach, an oil line split and it lost two engines and it crashed um, just close to Cow Lane in God Manchester. This is God Manchester, by the way. And um, yeah, I'm going to go see the stone and uh, the weather is uh, cold. <laughs> I've so many layers on that I can barely move, but. Um, I felt I passed this stone so many times that uh, not to visit it today when the roads were reasonable. Although Saturday around the villages is always very busy. Um, it's something that I needed to do. Tomorrow, my local butcher at Oldhurst has a book signing by the author, um, a local author, who wrote a book about this aircraft and the crew. Two crew members parish, uh, perished uh, in the crash. And uh, of the remaining crew members, only three actually survived to see the end of the war. But uh, let's go take a look at this memorial. Okay, this is Cow Lane, just outside God Manchester. The flyover there you can see is the old A14. And here we go. This is the memorial that I've um, never visited before. And for those that follow my YouTube channel, realize that uh, it's, uh, it's extremely interesting living in East Anglia when you look at the um, uh, how many airfields existed in East Anglia during the Second World War. I've um, just pulled over to adjust my clothing. Um, I don't know what temperature is out there. I can only guess that it's between 4 and 6 degrees positive and pushing forward at 50 mile an hour <clears throat> it must be about zero to minus two got a chart somewhere but uh, it's not very warm I've got so many layers of clothing on that it's actually unsurprisingly uncomfortable to ride 
I've got very little movement in my arm. Look, the Velcro's come undone. And I simply haven't got the movement to do my arms. Let's hope historical injuries to my bones don't nag me. But, uh, yeah, this is the site of the old Papworth Hospital. Here we go. Climbing out of Papworth. Chugging along, just passing the village hall. On the left here, for many years, there was a gibbet that we'd uh, have tarred our executed uh, prisoners and left them to rot. And this is the uh, Camborne. Oh, look, there's a McDonald's there. Here we go. Horrible new road, Cambridge Newmarket Road. For those with a beady eye, you'll see the quad lock. And um, I don't think there's many of those fitted to classic motorcycles, but I utilise my iPhone Pro 12 Max as my sat nav. I've recently decommissioned my TomTom -tom and my Garmin, I have both, um, in preference for a smartphone Google Map orientated satellite navigation system that links to my Senna intercom system on my RI helmet. So here we are, bimbling along. I don't push the old girl past about 50 mile an hour indicator. This speedo is a little bit slow. So I know that we're doing about 56 miles an hour, which for a 1959 BSA is quite fast enough, thank you. Dual carriageway riding. It's not a great deal of fun. But we're getting there. And um, I know in the UK there won't be uh, that many dry days left, but uh, the roads are completely dry. Um, Got to be careful, she's inching up slightly in speed now, so I'm just touching 60 miles an hour, indicating 55, so I've probably just crossed 60 mile an hour. It's quite fast enough, thank you, sir, on a 250 single. I'm just backing her off a little bit. Here we go, we're going to dry day, dry at uh, Drayton. <laughs> Let's hope it is dry. <laughs> Not too dry. Might find a pub. Here we go. Dry Drayton. Wonder how many pubs we've got in Dry Drayton. So I'm sorry, but um, uh, my GoPro Black. 11 um, as I turned off to dry dry and simply froze locked up and I'd used an allen key to connect it to my chest harness and um, I'd forgot to take the allen key with me so I couldn't remove the battery I don't know whether it was an overheating problem with the GoPro 11 filming at 60 frames 4k or what but uh, today was two tests one uh, if I could get out in the cold and uh, have loads of layers on and um, secondly was the quad lock which I'll show you in a minute quad lock fitted to a classic motorcycle was it successful yeah it was um, did it help yeah it did I um, I got lost from dry Drayton and um, ended up coming up through the back way um, and Erith and uh, St Ives uh, and now I'm on my way home for a cup of tea and a biscuit before going out to the pub. Thanks for watching and if you like these silly little videos um, please think about hitting the like button and even better still for me if you hit the subscribe my numbers are going up around two a day which is good. Thank you very much.